Hi, my name is Suvi. This video is for REACH registrants that have received a draft decision under dossier evaluation. I will guide you through the web form and share some tips on how to make your comments useful. First, a bit of background. Companies re registering their chemicals under REACH regulation are invited to submit comments when their registration data is being evaluated under a process known as dossier evaluation. The commenting follows a draft decision from ECHA or in case member states submits a proposal for amendment for the draft decision. By submitting comments, you can flag if you disagree with ECHA's assessment by, for example, raising points for clarification or inaccuracies in the draft decision. We will consider the comments and may amend the draft decision accordingly. The same applies to the commenting of the proposal of amendments with the exception that the comments to proposal for amendments are considered by the Member State Committee. Let's get started. As I mentioned before, the comments are submitted via a web form. Each draft decision comes with a notification letter that has a link to the web form you must use if you have any comments on the draft decision. You cannot submit your comments in any other way. Remember that if you agree with a draft decision, you do not need to send any comments. In case the draft decision has been sent to several registrants, we advise that one of you collects all the comments and submits them on everyone's behalf. The web form needs to be completed in one go and saving your replies is not possible. So collect all the information before starting to fill it in. First, fill in the general information. Mandatory fields are marked with a red asterisk. Next, select section A if you have comments on the initial draft decision if you have comments on the proposal for amendments, select Section B. This video focuses on Section A, Comments on Initial Draft Decision. This is what it looks like. In Section A, you can give general comments on the initial draft decision. You can also give comments specific to the individual endpoints for each information requirement. Note that if you want to give comments on the draft decision section called Reasons common to several requests, there is a specific section for that which I will show you soon. Next, indicate if you agree with the deadline given in the draft decision. If you do not agree with the deadline but request an extension, you must justify the reasons for your request in this box. If you disagree, you will need to explain why in this field. Attach any documentary evidence at the end of this web form. In this next field, you can add your comments for any reasons that are common to several requests. So, for example, on any general adaptations used for most or all endpoints like read across or weight of evidence. If you disagree with several points from our assessment, make sure to indicate the page, section or paragraph for each of them from the draft decision and provide your justification. Let's move to the comments for specific information requirements. First, select the relevant endpoint from the drop-down list. I will pick the in vivo mammalian alkaline comet assay as an example. Once you have selected an item from the list, you can add your comments in the fields below. We have designed the web form to follow the same structure as our draft decision for the individual endpoints. So first you are asked for comments on the assessment and its legal basis followed by comments on the information we request and the suggested study design. 
Note that our assessment refers to the information found in the dossier at the time the draft decision was issued and does not consider information submitted afterwards. Before adding your comments, you will need to indicate if you agree with the assessment and the requested information. If you disagree, you will be asked to give key arguments for your disagreement. We also recommend that you add the specific page, section or paragraph of the draft decision with which you disagree. Try to be clear and concise to help us process your comments faster. If you need to support your comments with more documentation, make sure there is a clear link between the documents and your comments. You can do this by using a descriptive file name for your attachments or explaining in the file itself to which comment it refers to. I will show you later where you can upload the documents to the web form. You can add a comment for other information requirement here. If you have added too many blocks, you can remove them by clicking the Remove this block button. Once you have filled in the web form, you can also attach documentation to support your comments and key arguments. As I mentioned before, make sure that there is a clear link between the documents and your comments. Clearly indicate if documents support the general comments or if they refer to the specific information requirement. If you have commented on several information requirements, make it clear which information requirement and key arguments your additional documentation refers to. Confirm the CAPTCHA and click Submit. Before we end, I want to share some tips for submitting your comments. If you agree with a draft decision, you don't need to send comments. Gather all the information you need before starting to fill in the web form. Clearly specify the page, section or paragraph of the draft decision that you disagree with. Summarize your key arguments for disagreement and add them in the relevant fields. If you need to support your key arguments with additional documentation, clearly link them with key arguments you have provided in the web form. We have come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, you can contact us using the email address given in the web form. In case of technical problems, you can contact us at eka.europa.eu slash contact. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching us.